good morning friends welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video today is a tuesday which obviously means i don't work at the hospital and that means that we are filming a day in the life productive vlog situation um i feel like these get repetitive but i also feel like i don't always do the same thing so if you're annoyed of these let me know and i'll stop filming them but you know i enjoy just taking you along on my day showing you that life is not anything special currently um if you're new here though hi my name is amanda i am 26 years old i am currently uh it actually does not look that's obvious <laughs> through here. Um, I am currently, currently a 36 weeks pregnant. So there we are, hello. And well, 36 and a half probably now. Um, that's kind of what life has been about lately is just prepping and prepare. That's the same word. Um, preparing for baby to come and just waiting for baby to come. Um, so, like I said, today is Tuesday. It is August 16th. My due date is September 9th. So, we... Why do I feel so out of breath? Just chilling, living life. Um, today I need to go to the grocery store. I think I'm going to go to Target. I have not fully, fully committed yet or decided yet. Um, I'm going to make some little, like, gift basket thing for the nurses my co-workers if you don't know i um am i am a postpartum nurse and when we deliver we'll be delivering at the hospital that i work with and i'll be with the nurses that i work with so i'm gonna do a little like basket for them and the labor nurses um so i haven't decided yet if i'm gonna i should just do that today because next tuesday i'm not gonna want to go i should do it today and then get any last minute things we need from target i think i want to get some like travel sizes of things um and just like a travel like toothbrush toothpaste because we're gonna pack we have not packed our hospital bag yet that's like the one thing we haven't done and i think we're gonna do that this weekend and i want to have as much stuff packed as i can and like obviously i can't pack the stuff that i use on a daily basis so i think i'm gonna go and grab some travel size things and grab some little like travel containers to like put shampoo and conditioner in so that like we don't have to big bring our big ass shampoo and conditioner bottles i think i'm gonna do that so yeah grocery shopping that um what else we're going to alex's co-worker's house when he's done with work for some dinner thing something with cheese it's not fondue it's something with an r i don't know the word um and I need to edit well it's pretty much edited i just have to rewatch it and make the thumbnail for it so and um i'm also going to do a little mid-month money check-in goal check-in situation which is actually going to be i think a separate video undetermined uh, undetermined for sure for that one it's like 10 o'clock now i'm gonna quick just watch through the video that needs to go up for tomorrow um and then make out my grocery list and head to the grocery store and target grocery list is made out ready to go it is about 11 o'clock um i'm gonna head out to the store go to target go to the grocery store um and then come home and eat some lunch <laughs> We're home now. Um, we got some stuff from Target to fill up some baskets for 
uh, the nurses and stuff when we deliver. Um, so I figured I would go through what we got and then honestly, I'm just gonna put them together because why not? And then I did get a few other things. So let's do it. So let's go through what I got for the baskets first. Uh, two little packs of bubbler. So I'm gonna like split these up. Um, this pack of white cheddar popcorn and just regular popcorn. A little pack of mini size cliff bars, some um, trail mix, and some chocolates. I was originally gonna like grab like chapsticks and stuff like that, but I was like, honestly, when we get the baskets and stuff from patients at work, like I just like the snacks. So that's just what I did, and it was a lot cheaper. Um, and then I'll show you what I got for us some travel toothbrushes and a travel deodorant they honestly did not have like any travel stuff and i was really disappointed so this is what we got for now i got alex and i some um trail mix to like pack in our hospital bag to have at the hospital for a snack I got this cute little sign from the dollar section it was five bucks to hang somewhere here for fall i also got some uh, Cliff bars for us to pack in our hospital bag. Got an exercise ball for labor and, you know, I'll use it afterwards. I did get this Freedom Mom uh, healing foam. One of my patients had it and she was like, this is amazing. So I did buy that. And then I got a two pack of nursing bras i already own this one but i really it's one of my favorites it's so comfy so i got it in this color and then black and then i got another just little like lounge wear top i just ate lunch so i'm gonna clean up lunch real quick and then pack up the stuff for the nurses my coworkers. <laughs> and ready to go um i don't really know where i'm gonna store these it's fine we'll figure it out they're cute though they look very cute i would definitely love this if i worked uh if i was working in a patient brought this i do work with these people next up i want to blow up my uh ball so we'll do that we have a ball um i feel like right now it might be still like a tiny bit small but it, they the instructions say to inflate it and then tomorrow deflate it 50 percent, and then re-inflate it and then it should be its full size it's like very close we're like it's almost enough the right size for me but almost not so i'll be sitting on that a lot bouncing because sometimes it's like the most comfortable thing it is 2 30 now um i need to call um the company that my work uses to start on my short-term disability maternity leave paperwork and such so i'm gonna do that right now um i actually used like a two or three days of short-term dis short -term disability when I had COVID back in January. So I've like called them before, but it's obviously different calling to like do something ahead of time, if that makes sense. But we will call, we will see what all needs to happen. All right guys, that actually wasn't like 
terrible. I'm not done yet at all. But like I just called, gave them the information. It's hard because like it's a leaf that's happening like now, like far from now. But we have like representatives from our like work or like representatives representatives that look work that work specifically with my place of employment. Um so I gave them the information and then I think in like two business days they'll send me back paperwork to get signed by my doctor. Then I send that back to them and then we have like three to five days until they like give me my claim, like approve it or whatever. And then yeah, it doesn't actually seem terrible. It just like what the fuck? Why isn't this just like, oh, you gave birth? Okay, you have off and you're paid for 12 weeks. Like, that would be the easiest case scenario. I mean, obviously, I would provide paperwork and stuff. But anyway, that wasn't too bad. Um, Yeah, it's only like 15, it's only like 10 minutes later and half of that I was on hold. So not too terrible. Um, I honestly don't have a ton to do right now. I still really need to do the, the thank you cards. But, like, I really don't want to do it. So, I'm not going to do it yet. Um, I'm going to sit and finish watching Bachelorette. Bounce on my ball a little bit. And try to get this baby to move down. Because we are still very, very high up. Like, way up here. We got to move down a little bit. <sighs> 